Hola, como estas? Uh, um, I'm bilingual? No, I'm not. Uh, so what's up with playing Coin Crypt, right? It's a dope ass game. If you've never played this game, I recommend playing it. It's a dope ass game. So I just restarted all my saves and stuff like that, so I have like absolutely ass nothing. But that's a okay. So if you don't know, it's kind of like a. See, I don't really know how to explain it. But it's like it's like a turn. Okay, here we go. It's a turn-based. Okay, I should probably explain what I'm doing first, but it's a turn-based thing, and so you got these coins like hit and shield right here, and so you hit the dude, dude dies, you get coins, that's the game. Uh, thanks for watching everybody, uh, no, okay. And then, so you go to chests like this, and there's multiple coins you can take. Right now I'm going to take the attack ones and heal. Obviously you have health here, you have your bag of coins which you can check out, you got hit 2, hit 4, and each coin, like this one, uh, takes like one... I think it's called beat it takes one beat this one takes two beats right so like in a sense if you have two of these guys instead of one of these guys it's better to use this so you got some strategery there and uh, there's a ton of different en enemies obviously like here's a skeleton and they all have different sets of coins and stuff like that and here's another coin like hit for hurt to shield etc so and keys uh, I guess I'm just gonna explain every single freaking coin I get right here. Uh, this is a steel one. That's pretty self-explanatory. Heal two. Pretty self-explanatory. Here's some deities. De deities? Deity? Deity? I don't know. But, I'm not really get gonna get into those quite yet. And, uh, we got some new coins here. I'm gonna take every single time I see a new coin, I'm probably gonna take it. So here's a hit three. Heal status. Uh, hit two. Enemy drops coin. And then we're just gonna load up on this guy. And we're gonna go fight this punk ass kid who's gonna die. Like, that's. I'm gonna ruin his. Essentially, what this game does is like, you go and you essentially fight these guys for treasures. And, uh. So I'm kicking this dude's ass just so I can take his treasure. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, self explanatory. Open this key before he gets to me. If you, After a battle like that, you can just like go past people. You don't. You can't fight in, like right away. Next coin becomes instant. Returning two copies, I'm gonna take a lot of that, cause this game's a lot about some um, That was that was the wrong one. I meant to use this. It's it's a lot about coin like maintaining, I guess. And I'm gonna double the double. That's trippy. I just doubled the double and then I'm gonna double that. And then I'm gonna redraw. Cause I don't wanna use any of those coins. Hit four probably. I don't wanna waste anything detrimental like this that I'm going to waste, but I didn't want to. And uh So we're almost done with the first floor. I by the way, at this game, I freaking suck. Like I'm I'm considered pretty bad at it. I think that's a that's not a chest. You lied to me. I think I can break the game though if I keep doing this. Keep like doubling the double coins or the return coins so I can just like I should probably stop. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that, that hurt a lot, and now I'm a little afraid. Yeah, we good. Okay. So, fuck, never mind, we died. That's, that's, that's my fault. That's 100% my bad. So what we kind of want to do is you can, you can unlock characters, obviously. Right now the characters, like, uh, the total earn, yeah. That run, I only got like 850 because I suck, and I kind of want to unlock this guy. I know what they do, I'm not sure if this is laggy as hell. Why is this laggy as hell? Next coin becomes, yeah, I already got that. So, if, if you own the DLC like I do, because I like this game a lot, you start off with uh, two characters, you get this dude, totally balanced. I hate this chick. I'll use it, but I hate it. And it says, okay, for one. It says, keeps used coins, gets, le gets less loot. And by less loot, it means like fucking none. Like, like nothing. And I'm just gonna one shot this fool. And I get to keep him. That's nice and all, but like, can't loot enemies. I can get one from here. And like, throughout, throughout the, the game, there's like a ton of enemies that just make you drop shit. And it gets annoying. He just killed himself. But, um, like, once you drop a coin, you literally can't get it back. And I guess I have two keys now. 
Yep, let's use the keys. No, I'm kidding. Oh, and I think I was both. Is that normal? I can't remember. Yeah, I can't use the keys, can't use the heal, gonna redraw. He's gonna hit me pretty hard off of that. But I didn't, like, waste anything at least. Not gonna go this way. I want a chest. Yeah, let's go here. Oh, we got a new key. 8% steel drop, draws off. Actually, that's a good idea. Is to do stealing instead of fighting, because then you can actually loot enemies. So now that I think about it, I might have just been playing this chick the wrong wrong way the whole time. Yeah, no, we'll just take these. Probably end up moving on. Alright, so let's... Hopefully I don't buy it for one. Alright, no, I'll drop the shield. And then we're gonna try... So we steal something and get the steel coin back, and then we dropped it. Did we drop it? Yeah, we dropped it. That sucks. Alright, plan's gone. Grab a heal. I mean, every single chest we come across is, like, a big deal. So we have to pick our coins carefully. And here's a shop. If you didn't know, coins have values to them. So, like, this one's 10. This one's worth 10, 10. Pretty much everything in the beginning is worth, like, 10, 5. That one's worth 15, actually. But, um, you can buy stuff that increases cast speed, raises defense, speed, uh, excuse me, etc. And... That, that's a fake chest coming up here. Alright, I'm assuming this was a Oh! That was tricky. Alright, this is the bitch that killed me before. Haha, <laughs> that's right. Now we get another key, and we'll take one of these. And I think, instead of like doing what I'm doing and just taking a ton of attacks, is we should take things that I need to use like later on. Because... I get it back? I get everything I use back. And that being said, if I just have a ton of attack coins, and I keep getting them back, then I won't have any other coins to work with. And see, this this fight right here is seriously going to plow me. Because it's going to make me drop coins and I can't get them back. And it, this casting time is instantly, so there goes like a solid four of my coins that I'm not going to get back. I'm going to grab this key, and we'll run away from that guy. So what's kind of cool about this game is it's, it's one of those, uh, one of those roguelike it's a permadeath type games, so every time you die, but you can still unlock stuff. Kind of like, uh, a little bit like the Binding of Isaac, I guess. In, in, a, in a sense. It's just like every other roguelike type thing, and I just one-shot that hoe. Let's go on to the next floor. Is that force? Oh, hey. Okay, yeah, so here's the DLC, a big part of the DLC is that you give this person um, some spare, spare whatever, and in return, like, up to a certain value, I think it I think it stays. So if I donate, die, and then donate again, the two runs will be a combined donation, if that makes any sense to you. Makes sense to me. But uh, you donate to this person, and with enough donations, fixes the plane, and he can unlock, like, a, a new world, per se. And I'm gonna get rid of that, so I don't need that, but... Okay, I don't actually need these either. That's about it though, I'm not gonna donate too much. The donation works really well with uh, other ones like... The Princess, which I'm probably not gonna unlock for a while, because I feel like the Princess is still a piece of shit. And you guys probably don't know what it is, but I do. And I think it's a piece of shit. Uh, per Every time we can use this double, double use coin, it's... Pretty helpful, I think. I should have just killed him. I don't know why I didn't just kill him. That oh my god, please. No, I'm double poison. It's he's still dead. That's dead. Dead. He's still dead. That's okay. This dude is one shot. No problem. Look at that. And these big chests. What are, oh, I'm supposed to take the new ones, right? Whatever. I'll take the new coins, even though on this person it's not very good. And that's my favorite deity right there, is Rubo. And this dude keeps throwing like, like ones at me. It's like at a strip club. But uh, yeah, he's dead. I'd like to get one of those ones, because that would be useful if I can like, chain them together. Because it's like insta-cast. 
You just do it right away. He's dead also right away. That's pretty neat. I have to. I'm actually, I'm actually getting decently far. Usually, uh, this is the farthest I've gotten with this person. I've gotten way farther with other people. I'll take that, I guess. But I suck with this person. I mean, like, I feel, I feel like people can also find use and see he's gonna steal my shit, and I'm not gonna get it back. But people can find use of this person, this class per se. But I really won't. This dude looks like he belongs to a Mexican restaurant, just saying. And he stole one of my favorite. I don't know what I just did that for. And all around this place, this people are. Fuck! They're just stealing my stuff. I want that vampire whatever back. Alright, you know what? Cast something. I dare you. Yeet! Oh, never mind. That's not, that's not very helpful at all. He's gonna run out of coins, and what do I have? Alright, well, actually, no, it's not that bad. I still have, like, a good amount of my coins. We don't really want that. Even though I said I'd take all the new ones, I'm not gonna take that one. And that's weird, because I just got in a fight, and I opened the chest at the same time. Is that gonna catch anything? No. It's really helping him, like, break the game. But this dude's got a big-ass shield, and he's gonna hurt me. A lot. And a, a big a big thing in this game is maintaining health, too, obviously. Just like every other game ever. Can I use that right now? Oh, yeah. And, um... The heal coins are obviously very useful. If I trade coins, do I get to keep his? No, I don't. That's so lame! I just want a way to, like, cheese the game so I can, like, steal coins or something. So I guess a good thing about this test, though, is you can just wait out the people. Hey! Hey! Hey, Jew! I'm sorry, that's not to be offensive to the Jewish people. He's, he does have one of the things, though. Look at that. That's definitely one of the things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Now I sound really racist. Is that a race? Is, is that a race or is that a religion? No, that's a religion. So what I'd be like? Wow, there's a lot of new stuff in here. Would I be a uh, religionist? Either way, I'm not. Whatever I'm saying, I am. Can't trade coins. Hit self is. Oh, that's that's a mass of a coin. So the hit self ones are worth negative amounts, and they take up a spot in your hand, and they actually hit you if you want to get rid of them. And with me, I can't get rid of them because I just get the coin back. Hit two to self, that's not worth anything. I'll just let her not kill me, but- oh sh- am I gonna die? Okay, I'm not- I'm gonna die the second I get into another fight, unless I get out of here. If there's a fight up here, I might be- okay, and there's not. That's a lifesaver for now, even though I only have one health, but it clears all my status effects. The status effects stay throughout the floor, but they can go away on new discovered rooms, essentially. Which might be a little complicated to understand, but... I'm gonna use this, just to get big damage. Some big-ass savings. I don't even remember what commercial that was for. And if I get hit by anything, I'm dead. So I gotta be careful. I gotta use this. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're still alive. I'm I'm very surprised about that. And this dude's probably gonna kill me. I'm just saying. Looney, Looney, help me. You spiteful Looney. Alright, let's go. Let, let's go. <laughs> See ya! See ya! Slightly boost damage, sure. I'm running this one. <laughs> Alright, so Rubo's grown spiteful too, and now this dude's jacked. Um I don't wanna I don't wanna mess with this guy. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, cool. I'm gonna die. Yep. That's- that's death. Actually, that was not that bad for like the first time- or second- that was the second time only using this girl. And I just never use it again because the first time I hate it. And I'll immediately unlock- gets more loot but less health. Cool. Cool. I like this guy actually. We got a lot of coins actually to, to use so I can unlock multiple classes now. Gets no treasure from chests but saps enemy coins. It's kind of like this. No, it's not really like the same concept of anything. But the monkey's dope, and I will unlock him next time we play. Unlocked a few new coins. Returned two copies of the next coin. Yep, we discovered that. Wait a minute, we discovered that last time. Oh, and here's this is really cool in my opinion. Look at all these coins. There's 301 of them. I've only discovered 8% of that. There's uh, how many enemies does it say? I don't think it says the amount of enemies. There's, there's quite a few, considering I've only seen 18% achievements. We've got a long way to go in order to unlock a lot of things, and... 
options and stuff like that. So, that's about it for now. Um, uh, ha have a great day.